Principles of Symmetrical Components, Part 1C. Okay, so in Part 1C, we're going to answer this question. What is the difference ABC system versus ACB systems? Okay, and we're not going to take too much time in this video tutorial. And if you already know the answer to this, you can skip to the next part. So in part 1b, we drew these three phasers and we said, well, by inspection, these three phasers are a balanced set. And if we assign this IA, I B, I, C, then by inspection, if they all rotate in the counterclockwise direction, this right here is an A, B, C system. Okay, so I've made a carbon copy of this and put it here, right? And we also said that if we swap I, B with I, C, then this effectively makes it an A, C, B system. So the difference between ABC and ACB is simply how these phasers relate to one another. So for an ACB system, if we have this stationary mark here, then A is going to cross the stationary mark first, then C, then B. But for an ABC, A is going to cross it, then B is going to cross it, then C is going to cross it. So it turns out that the analysis of symmetrical components heavily depends on whether or not your system is an ABC system or if it's an ACB system. Everything changes if you go from one system to another system. So in subsequent tutorials like in part 2 and part 3, pay very close attention to the phase sequence of the phasers that are presented and the direction in which it's rotating whether it's rotating in a counterclockwise direction or if it's rotating in a clockwise direction understanding these two principles is critical for the analysis of symmetrical components and this concludes part 1c now if you haven't subscribed already just click on that button on the bottom right corner of the screen and in part 1D, we're going to review the difference between the balanced set of three phasers versus the unbalanced set of three phasers and some of the terminologies that are involved between the two.